Alright, alright, alright. I'm here. I'm here. Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening. I'm here. Ready. I feel good. Ready to give a word. Praise the Lord. I'm here. We start off. Since I'm in the country. Cold water, Mississippi. I'm in cold water, Mississippi. Cold water. Grew up right down the road, off of Fuller. All my life, back and forth, Memphis. Lord, Mississippi. And I'm here, I'm ready. Down in the country, feel good. Temperature, feeling great. Really great. I'm all good folks. And I'm going to start out since I'm in the country with a little old song we grew up singing. Glory, glory, hallelujah, since I lay my burdens down. I made sure people where I was living there, people were kicking doors in all around us. People were breaking into people's apartments through the closets. They tried. They tried to get me. Came home one night. We saw footprints all over the door. They were trying to kick their way in the door, kick their way in the room, in the house, in the apartment. Somehow, God didn't allow it. I've been leading and depending on Jesus all my life. Thank you, Jesus. Just for shielding and protecting. Thank you. All right, all right, all right. Get right into it. Get right into it. 
Saint Matthew, mean First John, chapter three, verse sixteen. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever, that whosoever, let me start off. For God so loved the world. For God so loved the world. I got some Hebrew Israelites that follow me. They argue. They don't like it. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believed in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Verse 17. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. But that the world through him might be saved. But the world through him, the world, I believe the Bible, I believe the New Testament, I believe the Old Testament. I got a copy. Ain't no such thing on you cut. Ain't no such thing as Jesus. They he was saying that. Hebrew Israelites. They come. Some say they believe in the New Testament. Some say they believe in Jesus. Some say they don't believe in the New Testament. The New Testament is a lie. The new covenant is a lie. Well, if the new covenant is a lie, that means Jesus Christ is a lie. Because that is the new covenant. When God said, Behold, I will do a new thing through the prophet Isaiah, it was talking about Jesus. We ain't got to go all over and sum it up. It was talking about Jesus. Jesus Christ is the new thing. Jesus Christ is the new thing. Well, no, ain't no such thing as Christianity. Christian, the term Christian, didn't come to after Jesus came. Christ, what it mean to be a Christian? Christ-like. That's what it means to be a Christian. God went and made a promise, a covenant with Noah. That was all beginning, beginning it. If it wasn't for Noah, wouldn't be no such thing as the world. God would have destroyed it a long time ago. They don't want to accept the scripture. The Bible says Jesus came to his own and his own received him not. Who was his own? The chosen, the people that God decided to bring his son to. Those people rejected him. They called him a black. They called him everything. They, they, they killed him. They crucified him. But it was all prophesied. It was all prophesied. It was everything that happened was meant to be. After, because you read in 2 Corinthians, the Bible says Jesus was foreordained to come before the foundation of the world. So everything that happened in Genesis was already preordained to happen. It was already preordained to happen. Ain't nothing happened that caught God by surprise. He already knew from the beginning everything that was going to happen. I got it. They are outright denying God. They are outright denying Jesus. If you deny Jesus Christ, you deny God. That's what they do. But they claim that they are men of God through the Hebrew faith. They not. No matter how you cut it, if your faith is not in Christ Jesus, if you haven't been born again, like Jesus told Nicodemus, you can hang it up. You ain't going nowhere. 
but to him. Trying to hold on to the law. They argue with me. They don't like me. Well, we are under the law. Yes, we are under the law. The laws of God through Christ. Don't keep coming to me talking about no Mosaic laws. They don't even know what laws they talking about. Every time I ask, what laws are you talking about? The 613 or the 603? I mean, the, the, all the 613, including the 10, or we exclude all of them. They're only focusing on the 10. That's what I want to know. We under the dietary law. No, we're not. Second Timothy, Apostle Paul addressed that. Everything that God created, everything that God created is good and fit to eat. As long as you sanctify it through the word, that means prayer. Pray over your food. They try to hold us to the law. We're the Sabbath day law. The Sabbath law. Jesus broke that law. There is no sin in working. How, how God going to ordain work and tell a man to get up and go to work to provide for his family. Then at the same time, he can't work due to a Sabbath day law. God, his universe was universe, universe ahead of us. You go back what in Isaiah, around the 58th chapter, my ways are not your ways. Your thoughts are not my thoughts. I'm paraphrasing. I ain't got where I can really quote all the scriptures a lot. I'm getting up. He was already going to change the stuff. And I hear a lot of preachers say that Sabbath day law was added. It's not, it was added to the, to, the, uh, to, the, to the Israelites. That's why Jesus came and reestablished them 10, but he lacked the Sabbath law. In my video, I clearly say what Jesus said. In that, obey my commandments. Jesus never did, it, did away with any of the ten. Listen to me clearly. Jesus didn't do away with the ten. He did away with the 603. But y'all want to come along and still say, yeah, we still want to get, get, keep the laws and the statutes. Yes. Keep the ten. Go back to the book of Matthew. Jesus said, on these two great commandments, hang all the law in the prophets. That's what he's talking about. That was Jesus laid plain. And his apostles come right along behind him and echo up them very same thing. On these two, hang the, on these two, hang all the law and the prophets. All the law and the prophets. And you do these two, you got everything else covered. You covered under the grace. Ain't no sin in working on a Saturday. You're not holy, you ain't gonna, if you, if you ain't holy, you Hebrew Israelites, y'all can keep the Sabbath, go to church on a Saturday all you want to, but you sinning six days out of the week. It don't work that way. That's the way y'all want to have it. I know y'all ain't holy because I see y'all. I see the way y'all act. Y'all be cussing. I look at some of y'all videos on your channels. You got gangster rap. You follow the world. You into everything. But you want to condemn a man for preaching the gospel. Oh, Jesus ain't nothing. Jesus ain't real. I don't believe in the New Covenant. I don't believe in the New Testament. Then I got some coming out and say, yeah, you're right. You're right. I'm with you. But God didn't ever do away with his law. I'm not saying that Jesus did away with the law. Jesus said, obey my commandments. He reestablished the 10, but he lacks the Sabbath law. He lacks it because he broke the law. He broke the law. They deny. They come in my church. You know what you're talking about. You know, but yes, I do. I got some telling me. Yeah, you're right about a lot of stuff. I know I'm right. 
they want to argue with you, go round and round again. At the end of the day, they still have to come back and say you right. They don't want to answer no person. Y'all Christians, y'all don't know what to argue. Then you ask them, do all the Hebrew Israelites agree on everything? I finally got one to answer. No, they don't. But, no, they don't. But, so how you want to attack the Christians? But then want to look past your own faith system. When they are messed up, you got one over here saying this, you got one over here saying something different, then you got one back here saying something totally different. But y'all want to come in there and attack, which I don't care. I'm here for it. I don't care. I ain't like a lot of them YouTubers. I ain't wishy washy. I ain't gonna cave. Yeah, yeah, you right. Christian come here, yeah, you right. Then when Christian turn their back, I'm looking at him, he's like, yeah, I'm with y'all. Yeah, I ain't like a lot of them. I'm here standing directly preaching Jesus. Jesus don't live. Ain't no such thing as Jesus. The new, you don't know what the new covenant is. The new covenant is Jesus. Nigga, Jesus, marvel not. You must be born again. Unless you be born again, you cannot enter in into the kingdom. The new covenant is talking about New Jerusalem. Jesus said, don't think that I came to bring peace into the world. Don't think that I came to destroy the world. Jesus said, don't think that I came to destroy the world. Don't think that I came to destroy the law. But I came to fulfill the law. To fulfill the law. Jesus is the law. Jesus is the new sheriff of time. Jesus is the new parent. Jesus is the new president. He's that man. You take Jesus out of the mix, you ain't got nothing. Some of you Hebrew Israelites, some of y'all believe in Jesus, some of y'all don't. Y'all call Jesus a lie. Y'all need to get together. Y'all need to have a meeting, get on one accord, and then figure out how you're going to come at me. Because the way y'all coming, you exed out. I ain't trying to hear that. I ain't trying to hear that. I'm a Jesus man. I'm an Apostle Paul man. I'm a James man. I'm all on Peter. I'm here for it. Paul told Timothy, chapter uh, 6, 1 Timothy, fight the good fight of salvation. Fight the good fight. We go to Jude, around the first, first verse, contend for the faith. Encourage it. Contend for the faith. Honestly, contend for the faith. Earnestly, contend for the faith. Got to fight. It's a fight. I'm here for it. You tell me. I'm not trying to tell me that I don't know what I'm talking about. That's a lie. You're a lie. And the truth ain't in I believe what I'm breathing. I believe in Jesus. I believe in Jesus. I'm ready. I'm, I believe I'm at a point now. For the God to make it, the action the Bible says, their time will come. I might be a little nervous. Might not want to leave my family if, I'm, if the situation, God forbid, the situation ever occurs. But I'm not going to deny my Jesus for anything. I ain't going to do it. I want to ex out Jesus. The Hebrew Israelites want to ex out Jesus. That's what they want to do. They are the devil. Look at the way they live. Look at their leaders. Look at their leaders. Whoever their leaders are, they gang. Down. World is crumbling. World. Pastor Down, world up there in Tennessee, is crumbling. The man won't admit to doing wrong. He won't admit he done stole that man's wife. He been doing it. 
people sending me messages talking about that, what he doing. Them virgins up there, I wouldn't put it past him. Now I don't think he got the rights to all them women. Auctioning off virgins. Yeah, after he done had them, he ain't got no use for them. After he done had them, how y'all know they virgins? Mm. Dealing with somebody like that, can you trust that them women are virgins? They'll get up there and say, yeah, we're a virgin. It can be lied unless we got proof. Unless you can prove that's the way marriage was identified in the old. And I said, y'all want to go there, we don't go there. That's how the original marriage in the old, under the law, that's how it was done. The, the way you can identify a woman being a virgin, her tokens had to be in that cloth. Her tokens, to be able to prove that she was a virgin. It's a story in the Bible. That's when a man could have put his wife away right there. That's the idea that a, a righteous divorce to save him from the cause upon the case. When that man took their wife, when they got ready to consummate that wedding, that marriage, if her tokens weren't in that cloth, he had a right to divorce her, right then and up. And anybody was forbidden from marrying her. If he lied and her token was in that cloth, he was in trouble. In, and then, if, if, if her token, if it was proven that she wasn't a virgin, and she had fornicated, she could be burned. Anybody that could touch that woman could be put to death. Y'all don't want to talk about stuff like that. You really want to talk about marriage, the way it was done under the old covenant. That's the way. That's the only reason a man can put that woman away and give him another wife. Jesus came in the book of Matthew. He was asked about the marriage law. He was asked about all that. But I got some more stuff I want to cover today. They got me hot. The Hebrew Israelites got me hot. You look at that channel, a lot of them. Nips and hustles. They follow rappers. They follow gangster rappers. They follow the world. But want to come in and attack a man for preaching the gospel. Oh, you don't know what you're talking about. You don't know. You're a liar. And the truth ain't it.
When Jesus talking right here, he's talking about the law. That's what Jesus spent most of his time doing, is trying to change the mindset of the law keepers. He was until his death. He went to the cross preaching them and teaching them the ways of Christ. He was, well, we still under the law. We still under the laws of Christ. These two, these two, on these two hang all the law and the prophets and the prophets. Jesus spent his earthly ministry debunking and destroying and replacing those laws. Y'all claim to be Hebrew Israelites, but y'all don't want to admit that them people are the very ones that rejected Jesus. Them are the very ones who killed Jesus. And due to them rejecting Christ, that opened the door. Thank God for good Bible teachers. That opened the door for anybody to be saved. It didn't happen until after the blood was shed. After the blood was shed, Jesus went to the went to, to the Samaritans. He did say before the blood was shed, go not the way of the Samaritans, but go to the lost house of Israel. But after the blood was shed, first John, he went to the Samaritans. They want to tell me, well, the Samaritans are part of the northern kingdom. They might have been. But through her own words and through reading the scriptures, they were not in the house of Israel. They were not part of the lost house of Israel. You see her say, yeah, our father. But she said out of her own mouth that the Jews have nothing to do with them. They were exiled, however it may be, however the split came. I ain't found nothing to say. I don't seen some stuff to say they might have might have been. I don't seen some people say they wasn't. But I'm going by what I read in the scriptures. Jesus made it plain in Matthew, don't go by the way of Samaritans. So right then and there, they that let you know that they wasn't part of the lost house of Israel. Jesus went their way after he shed the blood. Then he told his disciples in Matthew 28, Go ye therefore into all the world, teaching them to observe everything I command of you, talk to and command of you, teach them the same stuff, baptizing them. To observe, that what Jesus said. Y'all do not about. Don't understand. Ain't no new covenant. If ain't no new covenant, that, that means God lied. When he said, I'm going to do a new thing. He was speaking of his son. All that stuff went on in the Old Testament had to be for a little while. It was good. For then, that's why Jesus said, take my yoke. I'm finna release you from having to deal with all them laws, carrying all them weight, or trying to abide by them laws. You couldn't do nothing. Almost everything they did was, was, was on the verge of sin. They didn't know when they would, you know, it was hard to keep the law. Even the priest had to be right in order to offer up those sacrifices. Y'all don't know what y'all are talking about. The priest had to be right before they could even go and offer up the blood of them animals to atone for sins. And that stuff had to be done over, over, and over again at certain times. It wasn't never designed and ordained to last in the first place. But then, it was a lot of curses that came along with them laws. Y'all don't talk about that. 
Just yourself, Jesus Christ. I had something else I wanted, another place I wanted to go. But I know stuff flew out somewhere. Jesus was already for a day to come before the world, for the, for the world, for the foundation, before the foundation of the world, the Messiah. Jesus Christ is not God the Father. Y'all keep telling that lie. And this for the oneness people too. Jesus Christ is not God the Father. Ain't no such thing as oneness. Yeah, ain't no such thing as Trinity. But I can believe the oneness and I can believe the Trinity depending on where you're putting the one. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son throughout the Bible. It's prophesied through the through the prophets of old that God was going to send his son to atone for the sins of the world. He will fall day after Adam and Eve died. Pretty much before then. But everything had to play out. Don't tell me. Then you got to force it out of it. You go around and around in a circle with it. I don't believe in the New Testament. I don't believe in it. You don't believe in Jesus Christ in the sight. Well, God, Jesus, he is God. No, it's not. Jesus is Christ. Jesus inherited all things from the Father. If Jesus is God, then that means Mary, the pregnant, the virgin Mary, all that is a lie. If it's a lie, I believe that lie. I believe it. If it is a lie, I'm reading it in the scripture, guess what? I believe it. Call me stupid for believing what the scriptures say. They don't know what they talking about the Hebrew Israelites. They get out there and go out there and preach their death to folks like they concerned. They preach death, go out there and argue with people, start fighting with folks, pick on people, be little folks, and want somebody to follow them. They mad at the world. They mad at the government. They ain't got no peace. Look at them. They don't have no peace. Every time you look at them, they them. He pushing lies. He pushing deceit. He pushing stuff that can't be undone. Worried about who Jesus is, what his color is. Pushing that stuff. Every time you turn around, it don't matter. It doesn't matter. Pushing hatred. Apostle Paul said, I think it's in Ephesians, that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but principalities, wicked, high places, wicked people, in high places, who behind it? Satan. That's where the battle is at, Satan. After the fall, after the sin, the separation in the God, man died a spiritual death. That's where sin came in at. Everything you see in the world, the devil is behind it. Y'all worried about, well, we under, we under, we under captivity. I don't hear it say it all. We under captivity. We under, that's why I tell them y'all cannot obey them laws. If you was, you can, they etched out two or three times because you in the United States. Them laws, a lot of them laws atoning for sin. Then they say, yeah, we, we can't atone for sin. They were outlawed. Well, all of it were outlawed. Dude, everything under the Mosaic laws were outlawed. Get what I'm saying? I ain't under no dietary law. I'm not under no Sabbath law. I live holy. We supposed to live holy seven days a week. I don't lay my religion down. We all capable of sin, but we don't live in sin. We live holy, seven days a week. Do we practice sin? Are we supposed to practice sin? No, we don't. 
We're supposed to live according to the scriptures. All of it. I see the way y'all, y'all look at look at y'all leaders. They don't help, they don't know Christ. They don't know God. They pushing hate. They using y'all to go out there and stir up trouble, cause trouble. You mad at the world. You mad at stuff that happened thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of years ago that you can't do nothing about it. I'm living in peace. I get up and go to work. I get my check. I'm not walking around every day mad at the world. I face racism on a regular basis from the white folk. I face racism, hatred from my own people on a regular basis. I deal with it how it comes. You know it's there, but you have to, it's, it's on you how you deal with it. Do I when I deal with racist people? Do I let that box hold? Do I use that to keep me from dealing with folks? No, I don't. When I encounter a racist white man, do I let that stop me from helping the next white man I see on the side of the road? No, I don't. Do I let bitter black folks that I run into stop me from helping my folks? It make you feel like it. Not helping nobody because we are some of the ungrateful folks on the face of the earth. I deal with them crazy black folks down in Georgia, some places I pick up. I just dealt with them the other day, unprofessional. Don't know how to interact, you own the job. They don't know how to be professional. They talk crazy. They end up talking about uh, stuff outside of work. You walk up to get your paperwork, you walk up to deal with them, they talk crazy to you. Them women don't have no home training nowadays. They just want, women nowadays, especially our women, they want to talk to men any kind of way. I dealt with that a couple weeks ago. I've been dealing with that at my job down in Georgia. And want to talk to men crazy. Then we say something to them, then they get a feel, oh. You ain't finna talk to me crazy. But do I let them stop? Do I let them stop me? No, I don't. I keep pushing. Keep pushing. I don't got no problem stopping the Anybody I see need help. Y'all see out there in them street, Hebrew Israelites, stopping people from coming to God. You out there preaching that death? That's what you're preaching, death. You started fights. You started arguing. You're attacking people. Most of y'all got criminal records. Most of y'all can't pass a drug screen. Most of y'all probably ain't even working. You're stealing, you're doing everything. But you want to stop people from coming to God, from coming to Jesus. Look at your leaders. Look at your leaders. Look how they live. Won't admit to sin. Won't admit to doing wrong. Instead of trying to hide, instead of trying to hide behind, throw people under the bus. Admit that you've been wrong. Admit that you wrong. Instead of trying to duck and dodge, instead of trying to hide, I debate you, I debate you. Jesus Christ said one man, one woman. Ain't nothing to, 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 to debate about. Ain't no such thing as polygamy in Christ. Jesus Christ got one church, one bride. And if you're a pastor, you definitely don't have no fear to try and talk about you. You got the right to uh, have multiple wives. It ain't scripture. It's not Bible. I have people come on, try to calm me down. Well, don't, don't argue back with me. I'm going to argue with them. I'm here for it. If I was scared, I never would have went to YouTube. I ain't living for dating by nobody. Yeah. When you go and try to come out, debate face to face is always a level. You have to be worried about it. I ain't trying to debate nobody. I'm doing my debate. I'm giving you the scriptures. I'm giving you the Bible. What are we going to debate about? I see the 
lead them to faith. They sign up. They'll say they want crowd and faith, moderators and stuff, but it's never go professional, especially dealing with us, black folks. I see white men and white princes, they'll go and sit down and have a conversation, debate, and be cool. Us, we like to fight. When the scriptures prove us wrong, they want to fight. There's Jennings in in of I just blew Jennings away with that oneness line. Get Gen ask Jennings, is oneness in the Bible. He got to say no if he answer it, but he ain't going to answer it. When you debate Jennings, ask him that question right off the bat. Is oneness in the Bible? When he try to go to the Old Testament, cut him off. No, uh-uh, stay right here and answer this person. It's oneness in the Bible. Make him answer. Make thou answer them questions. Make thou read a Jewish, make, make thou read a Greek book. Make thou read a Hebrew book. Why don't, why don't think about Hebrew? Let me go to it. Okay, let me go to Colossians. He wants me to talk about the dietary law. Let me go to Colossians. Let me blow that away. Let me blow that away right now. Colossians two, verse sixteen. Let no man, let no man, therefore, judge you in meat or in drink. Or in respect of any holy day. Oh, here you go. Or in, in respect of any holy day. Meaning the Sabbath. Or of the new moon. Or of the Sabbath days. Which are a shadow of things to come. But the body is of Christ. I never, never said, said we don't have to obey God's law. Never, never said. said. God's law is the only ten. Establishing excellence. But you want to try to put all the rest of the Mosaic laws on me? You can cut it out. I ain't going for it. The ten. But Jesus lacks the Sabbath law. It's not a sin to get up and go to work. That was his point. They couldn't do nothing. They were forbidden from doing anything. It's in the Old Testament. Well, a man was caught gathering wood, sticks, and he was punished for that. Working is not a sin. God ordained that a man work, go out there and provide for the family. Then that followed under the laws of the government. Where you at, United States? You got to work. You got to get up and go to work. Look at all the people who have to work on the weekend. Well, y'all gonna condemn them people to hell who got to provide? Y'all crazy. I'm a warrior. That was somebody said to me that I'm a warrior. I, I do that. I don't put you me on. Man, cut all that mess out. All you Hebrew in like who claim y'all warriors and y'all battle, 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 y'all. Y'all must not be because you're still living and you're not in jail. Y'all claim y'all don't like the laws. Y'all hate what you did. You ain't bound. You can do anything you want to do. You can leave the country. You can break the laws. But you got to suffer the consequences behind breaking the law. The Bible says obey. Jesus said obey authority. They got us in captivity. See, y'all believe that Bible? That Bible is a slave book. It's a slave, it, it don't promote slave. It yeah, it talk about slavery, but not in the way that it was done in this country. Read the book. They had a right to own workers, but they had to treat them workers right. They had to treat them people good. They wasn't really slaves. Under Christ, they, under the, in the Bible, they were just people that were on, but they were treated fairly. They were supposed to take care of them. 
It was due to battle, man service, stuff like that. I believe Jesus. Jesus said, obey my law. Well, I was going to go to uh, Hebrew. I feel like I'm on Sunday afternoon. I'm in it now. I'm in it. I'm in it. I'm here. I got a new PA system coming next week. This one here ain't good enough. It ain't big enough. But I'm going. Hebrew. Chapter 1, verse 1. God, at sundry time, and in divers metals, spake in time past unto the Father by the prophet. Y'all know what they're talking about, right? Verse 2. Had in these last days spoken unto us by his Son, whom he had appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the world. Called in the Bible a lot. God, who at sundry time, and in divers' mouth, divers' mouth. God, back in, back, back in the Old Testament, God spoke through the prophets, and God spoke through burning bushes. God appeared in anything he spoke. Why did he do it? Because he God. He can do whatever he want to do. Somebody tried to argue with me not too long ago about they saw Jesus. They saw God when they were looking at Jesus. That's a lie. They want to go back and get it. See, Moses saw Jesus. Moses saw God face to face. No, he didn't. Because God said, I'm going to speak to Moses face to face. That don't mean he saw him face to face. Mouth to mouth. That was God I was talking to him mouth to mouth. They didn't understand that. First John, book of John said, no man have seen God at any time. They try to go back in, the in Exodus and try to prove to me that Jesus was God in the flesh. If, Jesus, if, if God had already said, told Moses, you can't see my face in Lil, how in the world are they looking at Jesus? And he's God, the Father. Don't you think them people would have died? So you're telling God lied? When he said, I'm going to talk to Moses face to face, mouth to mouth, to mouth he showed Moses the glory. Because you read what the Bible says, John, uh, Stephen looked up into heaven, steadfast, and saw the glory of God. Moses saw the glory of God. Moses said, show me your glory. God showed him as much as he could, could show him. He couldn't show him his face. The Bible say a body. But picture the supernatural. The Bible say he saw a feet. But it wasn't like God was walking and had jeans on. Timberlands. It was all supernatural. He saw the glory of God. He saw just enough. God showed him just enough to prove that he was God. You want to use scriptures to contradict the scriptures. That's all you're doing. No man has seen God at any time. It's Bible. You cannot see God and live. They wasn't looking for, they wasn't looking at God in the flesh. They were looking at his son in the flesh. The word. The word came and us. The word. The word was with the Father in creation. Let us make man in our image. God is a spirit. But God has a form. <laughs> God is a spirit, but God has a form. No man can see God, the Father, and live. No man can see God and live. You're not worthy. No man can come into the Father except by me. Second John, I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the way. I think that's Second John. I might be wrong. He said, I'm the way, I'm the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father. No man cometh unto the Father except by me. Keep trying to say Jesus and God is the same. 
Sorry, not just let. God is God. God is the Father. Jesus is the Son. Jesus inherited all day. Jesus inherited. Jesus inherited. Well, I think I'm done. I'm done for the day. I don't want to prolong this. I hope I've seen it so. Take care of somebody. To come to Christ. Jesus is the way. I know I went and left me. I, I had to go with him. But anybody, God said, so love the world that who so help. Who so ever? Red, yellow, black, blue, green, Al Albano, Mexican, whoever you are. If you believe in Jesus Christ, you can be saved. And what the Bible says, the Bible don't lie. I believe the scripture. Unlike the Hebrew Israelites, like, they don't know what they believe. They just love them. Y'all pray for them. They just love them. I'm going to take this time to invite all my Hebrew Israelite friends to come to Christ. Relax. Ease your mind. Stop worrying about it. the things that you can't change. I'm thinking about Brother Willie Banks down in Jackson. Lord, help me to accept the things that I can't change. You can't change history. You can't change, you can't undo things that were done way before your time. All you can do is move forward. Think about new Jerusalem, new heaven, new glory. That's what the Bible is talking about. When you die and leave this world, you got to figure out if you want to go in the new Jerusalem, that's what it's all about. Just because you Israel and all that, y'all don't understand that. There was a time, but since they rejected Christ, since they killed Christ, God turned to the Gentiles, a people that would serve him. Y'all don't want to talk about this stuff, but Paul said to the Gentiles and all that. And they, all want, they just want to say all sorts of stuff. The Bible is right. Glory, glory, hallelujah, since I lay my, my sin gonna get better, burn us down. Glory, glory, hallelujah, since I lay my burdens down. Lay your burdens down.